bones. All of these loose bones are apparented to the main bone, keeping the entire rig together. Now in pose mode, select the top limit bone, go into the bone constraints, and add the constraint limit distance. Select the target, armature, and the bone string. Now if you move the string bone, that bone should stay in the same distance as it, distance from it. Perfect. So now all we have to do is add a track to constraint that makes this bone track that new top limit bone. So select this new rotation bone and click add constraint and add the track to constraint. Select target, armature, and the bone target will be the top limit bone. And enable target Z. Enabling this makes tracking based on the local Z axis instead of the global Z axis. And typically when working with bones it's good to stay local. So, now with fingers crossed, select the string bone and move it back. And your rig should be bending automatically like that. And I'm going to select the main bone. I'm going to rotate it around just to make sure there are no errors in the rig. Okay, that was easy enough. So now the string doesn't get stretched out when you pull it. Now to complete the rig, all we need to do is duplicate these top three bones and flip it down to the bottom. So in edit mode, with top IK, top limit, and this new rotation bone selected, press Shift and D to duplicate, and with the cursor still centered in the center of the handle, and 3D cursor enabled as the pivot point. Press S to scale, C to snap to the Z axis, and hold Control to snap to negative 1.0. Now select this bone, which was the top IK bone, and let's rename that to bottom underscore IK. The last thing we need to do is add a new IK constraint for the very last bone of the bottom bow chain. So in pose mode, with that bottom bone selected, add the constraint inverse kinematics. Target, armature, and bone, bottom IK. And that should do it. Select the string bone, pull it back, and see what happens. Uh, one more problem to fix. I forgot to change the chain length from zero, which is unlimited, to 14 because we don't want that main bone included in the IK chain. So now pull back the string bone and it's perfect. Select the main bone and rotate that around just to make sure there's no errors. And it's looking perfect. And now let's animate it. Now to animate, I have the timeline open at the bottom. I have the dope sheet editor open on the right with action editor mode selected. And I've changed my animation frame rate to 40. You might want to change it to 60 since I think that's the typical frame rate for a game. But whatever, I'm keeping it at 40 for this. So I'm going to make some room here and pull the dope sheet editor over a little bit. And this is going to be pretty easy since we're only dealing with one bone. So go ahead to frame 1. And with the string bone selected, press the I key for the insert keyframe menu and insert a location keyframe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back and then pull it back a little bit slower towards the end and release it. And on the release, I'm going to have the string wobble a little bit. So jump ahead to keyframe tw um, to frame 20. Pull the string back about 13 units. I'm not going to pull it back all the way. Insert a location keyframe there. Jump ahead to frame 40 now. and Pull it back the rest of the way, which is another 4 units. Insert a location keyframe. And then go to frame 41, just one more frame after that keyframe. And I'm going to move the string all the way up as forward as it can go. So 19 blender units and insert a location keyframe there. So our string is released in just one frame. 
Let's see how this looks so far. Looks good. So, frame 42. Let's pull that string back so that it wobbles in the other direction. Insert a location keyframe there. Go ahead one more frame to 43. Pull that back so the wobbles in the other direction now, but not as far as it did when you released it. Insert location keyframe. Just keep doing this. So frame 44, pull it back the other direction, but not as far as it was before. Insert location keyframe. Frame 45, pull it back. Just a little bit past the original position. Insert a keyframe there. And then at frame 46, press Alt and G to clear its location so it's back at its rest position. And insert a location keyframe there. Let's see how it looks. Pium. 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 Looks good. That's all there is to it.